What is up Capricorn? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for all Capricorn placements. So take what resonates, leave the rest, don't force it to fit. Okay, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. I'm a master Reiki practitioner, quantum healer, shaman, life coach. I do a lot of stuff, guys. I just do a lot of stuff. So if you want a personal reading, mentoring, or you want to become certified in Reiki 1, 2, or master level or quantum healing, I have classes starting in April, and I have one-on-one -on -one mentorship available as well, online or in person. So go ahead, check that out. But Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn. Your total destruction. Capricorn, I feel like you're just like over some shit. You're just like, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. You're over it. Some of you, this has to do with diet. Some of you, this has to do with your health. It's like, I'm done being complacent. I'm ready to kick myself in the butt and just get it done. I like this. This is a very forward moving energy. It's really nice. Um, it's interesting. They're actually showing me the Knight of Pentacles card out of this deck. So I'll probably use that to clarify for you. Let's see what we got. There's something about loyalty coming up for you. It's being highlighted. Nine of Swords. What are you fearful of? No, no, we don't. We don't do fear here. Change. Okay. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune came out horizontal to me, so that means like sometimes it's it. Yeah, Hierophant. You're in the midst of transitioning into this commitment. So logically, you're you're getting there. You know, you're like ready to kick yourself in the butt and get it done. But with the Nine of Swords, there's some like anxiety or stress about it. But you're accepting it, just not as openly as the universe might like you to. And with the Hierophant here, okay, so we're just going to put this that way for the ease of it. The Hierophant, you're going to grow a lot. You're going to learn so much. Okay, now we have other people coming in. I heard they don't understand. I feel like you're realizing that you don't need to be understood. Like, whatever. Like, they're going to think what they want to think. But I need to do this for me. That's really what this feels like. I like this. I like... So, this is going to be a, a very healing... Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're walking away. You're like, I'm done. You're going to ghost some people. You're going to go hermit mode or just straight up ghost people and not tell anybody what you're doing. You're like, I need to go address scarcity mindset or these limiting beliefs I have that are stopping me from taking action on what I know I should take action on. I think part of this five of pentacles is also just a lot of fear that's coming in about whatever this change is. This individual, the king of uh, swords and the knight of swords, it feels very... Um, they know what to do, but they're second guessing it with this two of pentacles here. They do know, but they're showing up in reverse because there's this doubt. So let's get any final messages for Capricorn, please, spirit. I heard take time to slow down. Take time to slow down. You might really be guided to spend some time outside to walk in nature. I like this for you, Capricorn. Let's see what else we got. So we have the two of swords in reverse. Okay, let's get one more for Capricorn. Nope. Oh, yeah, three. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. You're over the drama. That's what it is. You're over the drama. Um, I'm going to stick to this deck for you. I think they're just showing me the Knight of Pentacles for, um, like, donkeys might be significant to you or horses, right? So just be mindful of that. That particular Knight of Pentacles is a donkey, but it's the way it's shown in the card is it's pushing this pentacle with its nose on the ground, but the expression of the donkey is very reluctant. It's like, do I want to do this? Do I want to move this? It's, do I want to take action? Like, do I really want to build? Do I really want to create? Um, and that's that, that self-doubt. With the two of swords in reverse, you're really being like assisted. Uh, I've never read the Six of Cups the way I'm about to read it to you, but this literally feels like somebody talking to their inner child, right? It does. It's like, no, like, you don't have to be scared. Like, me today has got this. You're not who you were five years ago or ten years ago. Nothing bad's going to happen. And even if it does, I've got this. You're not doing it alone. It's like, really, it feels like reparenting self. Because with the Page of Pentacles and the Star, it's almost like you're reflecting on other missed opportunities and if you look at how they're holding hands, there's quite literally a star between their hands. It's like, okay, no, like just because you missed an opportunity in the past or perceived it as being missed does not mean that you're going to miss it again. You're definitely going to miss something if you don't take action though. 
you know, movement is better than sitting still. You ain't going to move forward without movement. Let's see what we got for you, Capricorn. Don't allow them to talk you out of it. Whoever is, sh I feel a lot of people around you with the sign of swords. If you're sharing a lot of your ideas or things that you want to build with other people, no, stop. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, six of cups. They're people you love. They're people you trust. There's a lot of people and it, it's genuine care and, and I don't even want to say concern. It's just like they love you. They want to support you, but I feel like you have differing opinions on things and it doesn't, yeah, it's just creating more confusion with the seven of cups. It's like too many options now, too many different paths to choose. You can do this. You can do all of this. You could do whatever it is that you want. You do not have to do things because other people are advising you to, you know, or just because it sounds good. Like do what really lights you up. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's overcoming this fear of lack or loss or like, um, scarcity mindset with the five of pentacles there there's a fear of failure that's being highlighted this is changing it's the universe is really trying to help you like it's okay to make this commitment it's okay to step into this with confidence let's look at the hierophant some of you this is a job offer and it's like asking you to i feel like a lot of people are going to be moving around this time um we have the hierophant justice in reverse some of you, yeah, again, the health's coming up. This is a recommitment to self. If you've been missing out of your routine or you haven't been really structured with like your connection with your higher power or just your health regimen or your sleep regimen, like this is a time where you're really gonna get back into that. Yeah, the world, you're closing out whatever this imbalance was and you're learning to recommit to yourself and to the practices that keep you in this very confident, very regal Capricorn energy. Okay, I'm being called to something over here and I don't know what it is yet. So I'm just the wheel of fortune. Okay. I feel other people, but I'm just like, okay, that was a lot. I'm not going to take, I'll take the eight of wands. I'll take that and I'll take this one. I'm not going to take any of the ones that were not first. Eight of wands, five of swords, and the chariot in reverse. Okay, this is, um, there's bound to be conflict, right? There's bound to be um, difficulties, right? We encounter resistance so we can learn to work through that resistance and grow and become more resilient, right? So if you're trying to progress, right, just like your car, it picks up more speed, there's more resistance of the wind, right? And then eventually it acclimates, right? Aerodynamics, okay? We work the same way. Neurons work the same way. Neuropathways work the same way. You try to create a habit, you're gonna meet the resistance of the other old habits saying, no, I don't wanna do this. This isn't how we do things. And you're gonna to have to reassure it like, yes, we, we are gonna do it this way. This is the new us. Okay, younger self, this is where we're moving. That's what this is about. Cause it's that resistance to wanting to move forward, chair it in reverse in the right direction when we meet that resistance the domino effect, okay? The change is meant to happen for you. Don't be fearful of it and don't doubt yourself. Let's look at the five of pentacles now. I need to switch my legs. Okay, let's look at the five of pentacles. Ooh, much better. For Capricorn, please spirit, what messages of love, healing, and guidance do we have for Capricorn on this five of pentacles? Okay, I heard slow and steady and I heard the cosmic reset. You're integrating a lot. You're integrating a lot of lessons that you've learned. You're learning how to drop the scarcity mindset because it's actually, it's a lack of love for yourself is really what, if you go down to the root of it, it's a lack of love for self with the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you have learned this from, uh, this feels like a father to be honest with you, even though King of Pentacles and Tarot to me is the father, this is the King of Cups. This feels like um, emotional neglect. So this is going back to where this was rooted in, which is probably why childhood's being really brought up for you. Emotional neglect is being brought up here. Okay, um, some of you, this was abusive home. See, now we're going Akashic Records kind of stuff. Um, take time to play. Now they're showing me pennies. Pennies are indicative of people who have passed on. 
to me as a reader when I see them on my channel or when I just have them dropping on my bed and I'm like, where the fuck are these pennies coming from? Because I don't carry cash. <laughs> um, some of you, this is a father or a grandfather that's already passed, okay? So just be mindful of that. Or if you see lots of coins or pennies in particular, um, recognize that that's this, this individual reaching out, almost trying to uh, make amends even though they may not still be here in the physical, okay? Let's look at the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I heard what's left unspoken. Okay, see, now the reading's like segueing into um, whoever's passed. Okay, let's come back to this. Okay, so we have Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. You're offering a lot of love and a lot of comfort to a lot of people around you in regards to what it is that they want to build. Um, but you find it really challenging to give that same love and comfort to yourself and what it is that you want to build. And that's why you're being challenged to do it. You're really accustomed to being the leader, to being the teacher, to be the one that keeps things together. And, and you know, it's okay to say, hey, can't do it for you today. I got to do it for myself. That's okay. Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. That's okay. You're going to come to a very honest and genuine place with yourself. And I feel like you might even... Uh, express that whatever other people are offering it's not that you're saying no to it but say I need time to think about it don't be so knee-jerk reaction to say yes or no you don't have to make a decision right away okay King and Queen of Cups are both in reverse. So you're being challenged to really um, evolve in regards to your emotional self. I know Capricorn you're like oh emotions <laughs> But no, addressing your emotional self is really what's being highlighted for you here because it's it's going to build this vulnerability you share with others, but it's really going to guide you towards sharing that vulnerability with the other parts of you that maybe you are rejecting or deeming as, oh no, that is not my best me. You don't need to be your best you. You just need to learn to love you. And that will lead you towards your best you. Let's look at the two of swords. I feel like this is where the lesson's going to come out even though I feel like you've really touched on it. Yeah. It's the resistance to allowing other people to help you or to even um, build with you. Uh, this idea that you have to be the leader, you have to be the reliable one instead of a co-creator with spirit or with other people is what's sabotaging Seven of Swords. Allow people in. Allow people in. Being vulnerable is not scary. I mean, well, for I can't say that because for some people it is, but it's a limiting belief to, in my opinion, to think that way. You know, it's not scary. It's a great opportunity to grow stronger, wiser, more mature, more resilient. You know, by just shamelessly allowing people in. You know, obviously use discernment because, but anyway, the star we have the five of cups. The Queen of Wands. Okay, there's something about these two before we get here. I feel like somebody's trying to push you through this healing and you're just like, yo, stop that. Stop. This feels very like, I know best. I know best. Let me help you. They have good intentions. They're very confident. They're very attractive. They're very passionate. Master manifester. They're, um, they're digressing. Um, that's the wrong word. They are they're avoiding dealing with their own stuff that they need to mourn this five of cups and they're focusing more on yours six of swords i feel like you're going to take time away from this person you're like this is creating too much stress um too much pressure you're going to take a pause from this and you're going to start to move towards the things that really help you not only heal but feel more at peace with yourself and more in love with yourself let's look at the page of pentacles you have the eight of cups in reverse queen of swords so you're going to go back and have a conversation with this person after you do your healing yeah because then you have the tower in reverse okay so it's after you've gone through your transformation you're coming out of the cocoon Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Ace of Cups. You're going to very lovingly and in a very reliable way explain to this person that you needed to take some time, the Moon, right? Taking that time to really understand your own depths, your own emotional self. And that's what led to this Ace of Cups over here, right? 
because the moon is ruled by cancer, which is the mother and tarot, but it's also our intuition, our subconscious mind, our depths, emotions, the water within us. Um, and so this is you coming out of this transformation and being able to confront these people. This might even be a parent and say like, hey, I was really doing some really heavy work on myself. I was really healing some really deep things. You know, so let's look at the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is also indicative of the parent to child. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Did we have the Queen of Pentacles? I can't remember. Yeah, right there. I was about to say, I thought we just had it. Okay, King and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so you and this person are a true pair. This is bringing me back to the father again for some reason. I feel like whoever this father figure is is past, though. I feel like they've passed. They don't feel present. They feel like when I talk to somebody who's passed, you know, they just, they're, they're kind of up there. So you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, I understand. Um, let's get two more to validate. Um, yeah, Two of Cups. There it is. Nine of, sorry, Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I love this. Ten of Wands. A lot of, okay, um, this this has to be a parents and a child or uh, that kind of dynamic. Even if they're not your actual parents, this is how it feels to me as a reader. So just take it as it resonates. Um, this Queen of Pentacles feels like the mother trying to help the child, okay? Trying to say, I know what's best. Like, let me help you feel. And the person, the child receiving it is having to be like, no, 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 no. I, I know what's best for me. Let me do this on my own. Because the reality of it is, is that this feminine energy this queen or mother is in a place of like they're deflecting they're just like i don't want to look at my own shit so let me focus on yours and help you through yours because it'll make me feel better when i'm feeling so shitty right um the child then explains that i had things in regards to this father figure or this masculine energy right that i had to heal from my past from my childhood I was really close with them. I had to really mourn them. I had to work through this because that was something that was really stable in my life. And I want to be able to accept these things in my life again and be able to invest in them in a very reciprocal way instead of being shut down out of the fear that I'm going to lose something that means so much to me. Right. So it's mourning a loss. It's mourning grief. Um, then you have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck and the star, which tells me that this ending, this release is a really long time coming for you. Okay, let's look at the Five of Wands. Yeah, Four of Wands. Beautiful. Letting go of this heaviness allows both of these people, the child, as I would call it right now in the reading, uh, specifically to move into very stable foundations, really stable relationships. This is healing a lot of like inner child wounds, like old stuff. Um, I think the mother is going to then follow in that energy. I think it's just going to take them time. Yeah, six of wands. They're going to be fine. This, this uh, feminine, the mother, as I was calling it, would they they want some recognition. That's what it is. Six of wands. Um, they're going to come out of this victorious as the typical six of wands. But it also feels like um, to be recognized for their efforts, right? Emperor in reverse. They might come across a little controlling at times. It's rooted in fear. Yeah, Page of Wands, because they're having to work on their own inner child right now. Page of Wands to me is the inner child. Eight of Pentacles tells me they're a little reluctant to do it, and that's their ego, their pride getting in the way of its strength. Interesting. Really interesting. Capricorn, if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. I'd love to be part of your healing journey. I'd love to help you look a little deeper into your own personal situation. And... If you want to become a certified Reiki practitioner or quantum healer, I do have a mentoring program available. It's a four month long program and I do it online or in person, regardless of your location or a combo of both if you're local, but it's just best for your schedule to do a little bit of both. I do that. And I have my Reiki certification classes in April for in person and in May for online. So go ahead, check that out. I'd love to help you. I'd love to help you achieve your certification and to help you start your spiritual based practice, you know? So if you're interested in starting exploring energy healing of any sort, please go ahead, check out my website. I love what I do and I love to help other people achieve the same. So I'll see you there, but like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, helps the channel grow and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.